One of the hardest things about gardening is spacing out your little seeds. And we've been growing stuff every single year for a long time. Yep. We're gonna make our own seed tape, and that way it's gonna be perfectly spaced out. Cool. And we're gonna do that with some carrots and some radishes. Here are some carrot seeds. Whoa, I can barely see them. Exactly, so they're really small, so it's harder to line them up nicely, and a lot of times you just end up going sewing them like that, and then thinning them. This way we don't have to. Yay! So, let's have you cut the toilet paper. You can use toilet paper, like we're using here, or you can use paper bags, you can use tissues, you can use tissue paper, anything you kind of have left over. We are gonna make a little bit of a paste using some regular flour and water, and that's gonna be equal parts flour and water. Where should I stop cutting? Well, you want it as long as like a raised bed would be, you know, so at least four feet. I've got the paste mixture here, and we're gonna make one strip of the radish. And one strip of carrot? Yeah. These need to be every three inches. I'm gonna do it at three, six, nine. And 12. And 12. So what I'm doing is I'm going with a paintbrush as well and just going and laying down one or two little seeds because sometimes each seed is not gonna quite germinate. Now we're gonna fold it over. <gasps> cool, okay. And the glue that's under there should help to... Hold it together? Hold it together. This is gonna be the radish one. So we did the carrots. Mm -hmm. Got plenty of glue. The ones that we're planting right now, these are Philadelphia white. They're gonna be like the round kind, not the longer kind. Mm -hmm. All right. Fold. I love making these uh, seed tapes in the winter time when you have nothing better to do and you wanna still be active, have a little project, do something. You make the seed tape, we're gonna roll it up, then in the springtime, about April, we're gonna go outside into our raised beds and about two to three weeks before the last frost, put them in our raised beds, cover them over lightly with soil, enough soil so that you can't see the toilet paper at all. Of course, we're gonna make sure that we put a little marker so we know what we grew there and that we planted something there, because sometimes you forget. Yeah. <laughs> and especially these radish seeds, they are gonna germinate like that. They're gonna germinate within three days. And then the carrots, they're gonna take a little bit longer. These carrots, we're gonna plant a little bit early, probably in April as well. That means in October or November is when they're gonna be harvestable.